His first win at Mid Ohio Sports Car Course, a local race car driver is making waves in the USF 2000 Racing Series. And the best part, he's only 15 years old. I recently caught up with racing sensation Evagoras Papasavas. My name is Evagoras Papasavas, race car driver, uh, driver for number six, uh, J. Howard Driver Development car in the USF 2000 Series and the USF Pro Championships. Currently, right now, I'm 15 years old, competing in my first uh, full year of the USF 2000 Series. Really, cars uh, has been a big part of my life ever since I was really young. Right from when he was a baby, he had been wanting to beat other strollers. So he was in the stroller and he's like, mom, go faster, faster. It was always faster, faster, and looking at the other stroller to see if we were just ahead of it. Um, I don't remember a single moment where cars was not something that I was thinking of or a part of. And I'm just super passionate about being a race car driver and more importantly, being super successful. Uh, when I started, I started go-karts around seven or eight years old. Um, I did go-karts uh, from indoor to outdoor go-karts, competing in a bunch of national events around the country uh, until I was about maybe 13 years old. And then I started to make my transition into uh, actual race cars. So he was doing well there, you know, and he was getting fast times and everything was very competitive and um, he, was putting, he was putting into practice what he learned. And then I said, okay, let's try the next level. Started just driving around some tracks that are around the area, uh, you know, just getting the hang of it, uh, really feeling the biggest differences between a go kart and a race car. And now I am uh, competing uh, as an actual competitor now in the full series. It's, it's really something else. Like every time. I say I'm a race car driver, they always, the next question is always, how old are you? And you know, I say I'm 15 and they, they always say that, you know, you can't drive on the road. And that's correct, I cannot drive on the road in Ohio yet. So yeah, it is, it is uh, pretty ironic that um, I am a race car driver driving race cars at 150 miles an hour, but I cannot drive on the road yet. The minimum age actually for my series is 14 years old. So I was able to do like half a series, half a, half a year last year just to get that first experience in. So that way this year we can go win the championship uh, and just continue my working up the levels. I've always been really competitive. Everything that I do, I want to be first, no matter what it is, even if I'm playing like a basketball game with my friends. I'm just, I'm really competitive about anything. Uh, and I want to be the best. And I think that's a very important trait to have like when you, when you are a race car driver. The path that I'm on right now uh, was originally called the Road to Indy. And uh, so basically it was a path straight to IndyCar. They had a bunch of different levels that were all structured together in one big series. So we travel around with IndyCar. So the IndyCar teams and drivers are watching us. So they know like who's the next big thing. Uh, and back home right here, I do a lot of my uh, sim work. Uh, and that is really just, um, it's almost like muscle memory kind of, just to keep uh, your body and the, uh, Kind of like the same movements as you are in the car, like with the pedals, with the steering wheel. So everything stays familiar to you because in my series, we have we actually have quite big breaks in between races. So it's important to keep um, keep your mind in that racing feeling. I haven't done anything close to what he's doing now. I had a, uh, we were a sports car and I was taking out on the track and uh, doing some high performance driving with the Porsche Club and the BMW Club. And I got into it, I got into the technical stuff. I'm an engineer, you know, so. Uh, and he saw it, he was born after that, and he saw the cars and everything, he started getting curious. You know, what is this, and, and that's how the whole thing started. But uh, yeah, I just live vicariously through him, basically. <laughs> we have faith in God, and just know that the, the car that he's in now has a lot of safety precautions. Makes me feel a lot better, but I don't think it'll ever take away the, the anxiety and, and just praying that everything goes well. I think his level of maturity is is there, and um, I'm not going to have to worry about him passing his driving license because <laughs> he already has that. We have high expectations, and the high expectations are, you know, you do well, do what you love, you be, you know, kind to people. We go to church, we stick as a family, and we're we're a good team.
follow your passion and continue working hard because working hard is very important not just in racing but in a lot of different things so just keep working towards your passion put in all your effort and all your determination motivation and everything and just keep working for it keep working for it and before you know it you'll be where you want to be